What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. And finally, we have finally hit level 100 or the silver tier. So we have our XP Max Diamond Signature Pack. And of course, as I probably told you guys already, I did want to go Tony Gwynn. In my opinion, he was the guy who fit my play style the best. And as you guys can see right now, my outfield is more or less going to be complete for some time. He is going to play at a secondary position, but... I I just he just looks so good max contact both ways max vision max clutch 90 speed 91 fielding 92 arm strength and about 70 power per side he is going to be an outfielder on my team all year and him and Ichiro make a fantastic combo center field I could probably still be looking for an upgrade but Trey Turner has been doing a good job so far I think you'll see this video Sunday. I do believe this starts the series where I'm recording like 18 videos within the next uh, four days. Uh, so it's going to be kind of crazy. This should come out Sunday. Obviously, I'm going to be in Florida if you guys did not know that. But we did just move up to 702 Division Series. So theoretically, these games should start getting tougher. So I'm up for the challenge. All right, so here we go looking at my opponent's squad. Hopefully, he's got actually a pretty uh, not so great team. Um, we are actually pitching Blake Snell. I'm very happy first time using him. Um, he only has two diamonds on his squad. SDS, what the hell is this matchmaking? Come on. It's ridiculous. I mean, hey, you never know. Maybe this guy just uses his cards really well, but come on. That's just horrible matchmaking. Like, I would not blame him whatsoever if he did quit. Of course, you guys know how astronomically happy I am about Blake Snell going diamond. This is the only time I've ever witnessed a Tampa Bay Ray live series diamond player in Diamond Dynasty. It cannot get any better than this. Oh, two, you know what to do. We're going to go back to the slider. Hopefully, we do not hang it, and it's going to be right there for Tatis. Two quick outs to start off this game. Ichiro is coming off a 5 for 5 ball game. He has been absolutely mashing the ball recently, but he's going to ground out to open up. Just two fastballs, change up, and a curveball by his pitcher. Um, Paul Goldschmidt hits that really nice into the gap right there, 58 speed. I think he's got Andrew in 30, definitely has an arm, but I am going to test it. Um, you should be able to get in there safely with a two out triple. Gotta get this run in, man. Doesn't matter how his team's looking, runs are always important. Tatis, why would I swing at that pitch? Oh my god, my plate discipline is actually non-existent. Like, that's not even a joke. Go to, you know what to do. Gonna go away with the slider from Snellzella. Hopefully we can get a nice punch out. Not quite, but we do get a bounce out. Get out of the inning. And Tony Gwynn up for his first at-bat. Batting fifth? I, kind, I really like Ichiro and uh, Jose batting one and two, so I didn't really want to mess up that tandem, but I'm definitely going to be experimenting where exactly I want to bat Tony Gwynn. 2 0 hitters count. We're looking fastball right there. Ooh, we hit that so well. We could to hit that better. That's exactly what you want to do with Tony Gwynn, but a good play by a second baseman right there. Man, 1-1, one, one. gonna look dead red fastball, it is not fastball, it's a curveball, we see all of that, it's not gonna have quite enough, but it is gonna be a ground rule double, with two outs once again, we got somebody in scoring position, let's see if this time we can bring him around. I feel like I say it at least once or twice every episode, but patience, that, that's really important, come on. Oh, once again, just like with Tony Gwynn, we hit that ball really well. It's right at an infielder. Go figure. Snell definitely has some velo. We're going to test that up and in fastball. Blow it right by him. Let's see if we can get that first punch out. Let's see if we can drop the hammer on the Renzo Kane and finally get a strikeout with Blake Snell. There we go. We got him whiffing and we go the throw over to first base. Irvin Santana marks one run through the lineup so far. We are perfect and I know I probably shouldn't be saying that because I am going to jinx it, but... It's Blake Snell. I gotta mention it. 0 oh, 2. Just gonna drop the hammer on him. I don't care if it's. Oh my god. Yep. What did I tell you about jinxing it? I should have just kept my damn mouth shut. Let's go curveball two strikes. Hopefully, we can get another punch out. And my man's just free swinging. J -j he's just pressing X. You don't care where it is. <laughs> if I said it once, I said it a thousand times. It is never too late for a two out rally. We hit that nicely. It's just. Once again. Top of the fourth inning, nothing, nothing ball game, been relatively quiet. To be fair, I probably should have scored on both of my opportunities. Uh, I just choked. He's looking fast, but he's going to try to steal, really. Okay. Um, just going to hit a high one. Once again, you guys know Trey Turner. No fly zone. Going to cover that ground and end this inning. I am not too sure what it is, but Tatis has been in a struggle, and he gets hit, so that's one way to get on base. 
Tony Gwynn sees that one the other way. It's not going to fall. A little bit too much oop on it. That was not my pitch. I really don't know why I chased that one. But two. You know what to do. I don't gotta say it anymore. We're gonna drop the hammer on him one time. And he is gonna get decent one on that one. But easy catch for Trey Turner in center. Right, 2-0. Two, two, oh, good count right here. We're gonna watch that one. You know what? We need base runners. We definitely need speed on base. Uh, hands are off. You wanna lock me? Slide right down the middle. Okay, let's try that one again. All right, there's the walk that we wanted. Unfortunately, we have Blake Snell up now, and I just can't take myself to uh, take him out. I just can't do it. We're going to steal here. We're going to steal second base. Let's go. Smart move. Smooth move by my decision. So we're out of the double play possibility, and now we can have Snell swing the bat. Itro, that's going to fall. I think that's go okay. No, I do not want to send a piece. Oh, okay. Oh, that was tough. I might have been able to get in there, but that's too tough to tell. But now I have to try to get another base hit to score. Oh, that was mine that had gap written all over it, and instead I'm gonna pop up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look up choke in the dictionary. I'm gonna see this. See my face. See that curveball's looking right. Uh, nice curveball. Nice ground out on the ground to Jose. Throw it over to first. And like I said, we're doing the job pitching. We just got a score. Oh, Goldschmidt leading off this inning. That's got to be a home run, right? That has home run written all over it, but this ballpark's too big. It's going to fall. Um, thank you for staying in the park. That is going to be a leadoff triple. If I do not score this time, I do not know what I will do. Patience is a virtue. Learn that. Oh my god. Tatis finally gets a hold of one right there. That is going to hit the gap. Another nice extra base hit. RBI double. We have the lead. Thank you. About damn time. Tony Gwynn right there. He gets a hold of that one. Come on. Please do not be a fly out. Please. Let's go. I was going to say, if that is not a nice base hit, I'm going to get mad. Uh, you know what? Let's try to get some more RBIs. I actually have no idea why I didn't send the runner home. We easily would have scored. Um, and now there's a shot that I could possibly choke this opportunity. Javier Baez. There we go. All that for now. We do bring home both of them right there. Nice knock by Baez. And it's a 3-0 ball game. Once again, do not quit. Please do not quit. Let me get a full game. Oh, my God. Yep, here it is. Here it is, guys. He's going to quit out. Oh, good Lord. Oh. If he could have just went like two more innings, that would have been nice. But apparently not. We're going to hop into another one. And he has literally... Bro... It's not the same team, but he literally has two diamonds, and they're the only two diamonds the last guy had. That's tr that's trippy as hell. Wait, am I blind or dumb? He had Steve Finley. <laughs> we did get up to about 720 in our rating, obviously. He wasn't the highest up, but he was 633, so clearly he was winning some games. And I, I just love... How my second baseman didn't move for the ball right there. Like, I feel like that's a really big issue in this game that nobody really talks about. There's just no animation that triggers right there. And instead of an out, it's a leadoff triple. Um, horrible count, now 3-0. And we walk him. My analog pitching has been so bad today. I can't, add, I can't exactly put it into words. Now full count. And we are going to sacrifice that run. Oh my god, Trey Turner. You've got to be kidding me. That is so tough. Oh my god, hopefully he is going to go home. Actually, no, hopefully he doesn't because he's in their safety. Oh. Well, this is not exactly how I wanted to start off this game. Jose, please just get a damn out. Tatis, slow roller. He's really going to be safe? That's really a base hit. Oh my god. That's going gap too. He's not Jesus. This is this is a oh this is an eye socket game. This is an eye socket game. Why? Because it'll make you literally gouge your eyes out from their sockets by looking at it. Like literally all the 50-50 balls are going exactly to him, not triggering animations. This, this is just bad. Oh, it's it's for nothing. My opponent is actually pitching Trevor Bauer as well. Ichiro gets a nice little base hit over the set, uh, third baseman's head. Uh, good way to lead it off because we definitely need some runs early on. Tatis, that one is going to fall for a base hit 90 speed. 
I gotta get somebody in scoring position so we could possibly score. Oh, runners on the corners. Two down. Tony Gwynn. Right there. Come on. Dude, again. We're right on the ball and it goes right to him, man. Go for <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh. So nothing else happens. My man's is hitting 308 with Trevor Bauer. Just, just think about that. He's in 308 with Trevor Bauer. Loki, I'm gonna have to start worrying about getting mercied in Jesus. Like, oh God. Oh, good Lord. Oh, we got him at third though. Throw the damn ball, Torrey. What? Sense of urgency. Sense of urgency. Where are you? It's kind of a bad pitch, but it is gonna fall for a strike. Go to the changeup and There we go. Uh, he is just going to float that one up. Seven speed. I don't have to worry about getting a running start. Double place in order. We could possibly still get out of this. Sinker low and in. Not really so low and in, but it is going to be a tailor-made double play right there. Whew. I mean, it's still 4-0, but Joe Torre saw that one nicely. Was with that curveball all the way. And going to lead off the uh, inning with a base hit. Javier Baez, that one is going to fall. Nice back-to-back -back singles to lead out the inning. Got to make something out of it, though. It's one thing to get hits. It's another thing to, uh, you know, make them count. Really? 97 speed. You've got... You Trey Turner doesn't beat that out, really? Trey Turner doesn't beat that ball out. 2-2, two -two, I hope he throws me a fastball. It's a curveball. I I am playing so bad, and uh, every I I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Hit hit a two run shot. I I don't care. Double play ball. Go figure. Ah, huh. I have been kind of late when he has been going to the fastball. That one should fall for a base hit. Ito just hits man. I love this card so much. Two strikes on me right now. Gotta protect, and we're just gonna roll one on the ground. This is so infuriating. Interesting decision right there. He is going to regularly bunt. We have literally nobody covering second base. Um, so he can't turn a double play. Thankfully, we do get one out of... Let's keep it at four damn runs, please. On the ground. Tatis should be able to make the play. Oh my god. Gotta watch out for the curveball. He has been using that all game. And we're gonna get a nice uh, inside-out single right there. So that's his second hit of the game. Or, yeah. I think I don't fucking know. Joe Torre, you've got to be kidding me. Like, oh my, I, I kind of hope I get mercy ruled at this point. Save my sanity. Oh, well, ask and you shall receive, baby. I mean, I didn't think he was going to hit a home run on that pitch, but what do you know? I'd right, sink her away. Oh my, like... That's what I'm saying, man. It just seems like it's one of those games where every toss-up, everything that could go one way, it's always going his way. That's that's just what I'm saying. By all means, he's definitely outplaying me, but there have been pretty much at every moment when there are those 50-50 plays, they're always going to him. Not, not really too sure what else I can do differently. See if he tries to bunt him over with Bauer. No, he does not. Gonna get a double play on that one. Jose Reyes, you, like... Oh, this, it's an eye socket game, like I said. Tear them out. Just, just rip them out. He's probably looking fastball up and in. So let's go up and away. Or I guess that's more up and in. Oh my god. But we get the out nonetheless. Sit dead red. Sit dead red right there. That, that's a cheap ass hit. It really is, but I don't care at this point. Um, actually, it could be a cheap ass double. I, I, I kind of care at that point. Here we go. Here's our shot. We got to get this one. We cannot allow ourselves to get shut out. Joe Torre, I swear if... Okay, he's not going to catch that one. But if he did, that, that, that's the way this is going. He would somehow catch that one. We get all of that pitch to the deepest part of the ballpark. RBI double. It's a four-run game. Uh, Trey Turner, that one's going to fall. Let's go. We get a second run right there. That's, you know, 5-2. Th Three-run lead. You know, could come back. Uh, I don't know. He's a little short. Full, full count. Uh, we'll take the walk. Uh, Ichiro up next. So the home run possibility. 
probably on the door, but if we hit a gap, we can still probably do some damage nonetheless. One, two, he went with the lefty. Probably a good decision, and why would I take in that? Oh my god. Just, uh, Got 94 pop on his creative player. Thankfully, he's just gonna chop that one into the dirt, and, uh, it's trying to chip away at the lead a little bit more. Full count, he's hitting 100 on the gun. This is really hard. Hopefully, that one is going to fall. Come on, bro. What do you want me to do? Ramon, what do you want me to do? Follow it up with the curveball. Please get him out and do not hit him. He actually swung at that. Okay. Um, throw the damn ball, Torre. Thank you. All right, two strikes. Got to protect here. Uh, we do see that one. Once again, we're, we're right on. A little bit late, but right on. And it just goes right to him. Story of my life. I mean, uh, it's over. I don't know, man. Like I said, from the beginning, you guys know in that first inning, I was definitely getting shafted. You know, everything. It was just that much away from my glove. And then Bias decides to be an idiot and not even put his glove up. And that's really what killed us. In all reality, we actually had nine hits. So we uh, only got out hit by one. But obviously, his hits had a little bit more oof behind them. Uh, Tony Gwynn, two for four in this game. I think he was one for two. So a combined three for five. Um, I do like him. He was hitting the ball hard it's just mlb 19 you know but if you guys did enjoy this video you want to see more mlb 19 diamond gameplays please leave a like down below and uh yeah we guys are great today there you guys i'm out yay